Friends Without Benefits Christina Morris was just 23 years old when she went missing in the early morning hours of August 30th, 2014. She was last seen on surveillance video around 3.45 a.m. at the shops at Legacy Mall in Plano, Texas with a male friend named Enrique. Police say that despite being the last person seen with her, Enrique had been very cooperative with authorities and initially was not considered a suspect. The only other suspect was Christina's boyfriend, Hunter Foster, who was cleared of any suspicion when his whereabouts were verified the night of Christina's disappearance. According to an anonymous testimony, Christina left the apartment with former high school classmate Enrique. In a statement to detectives, Enrique says he and Christina walked to the end of the apartment complex before going their separate ways to their respective vehicles located in different garages. CCTV footage confirms Christina and Enrique traveling to the end of the apartment complex at exactly 3.57 a.m. However, detectives notice a detail on tape that contradicts Enrique's spoken testimony. Enrique clearly stated multiple times that he and Christina parted ways after reaching the end of their friend's apartment complex. He says his car was located in a different parking garage to Christina's vehicle. Surveillance footage shows both Enrique and Christina walking simultaneously into the same parking garage, side by side after they reach the end of the apartment complex. And a different surveillance camera from outside the parking garage shows both Christina and Enrique's car parked in front of one another in the same garage. Although both cars are visible, Christina's driver's side door is too far out of range to see if she ever steps inside of her vehicle. Only Enrique's gray Camaro is turned on and leaves the parking garage shortly afterwards, presumably with Christina inside of the vehicle. Christina's car remains dormant in its occupied spot for days on end, with Christina nowhere in sight. And with this discovery in mind, detectives bring Enrique back in for further questioning and present a layout of the parking garage in an attempt to corroborate his spoken testimony with the footage uncovered. Is there a chance you could have parked in this garage? No, I don't know. I don't know for a fact it was no. Because I parked by my friend's house. Enrique changes his account of the evening and claims he parked in a different parking garage when he initially arrived at his friend's apartment, but forgot he moved his car at some point in the evening to the same parking garage as Christina's vehicle. Skeptical of this version of his story, detectives obtain surveillance footage from a nearby gas station when Enrique's bank records show he purchased gas for his Camaro six hours after Christina's disappearance. Detectives make a chilling discovery about Enrique's visit to the gas station as they see Enrique using a squeegee to abnormal normally and strategically clean only the outer rim of his trunk for an unusual amount of time. Thanks to both pieces of breakthrough evidence, it's enough visual confirmation for detectives to request for Enrique's car to be seized for DNA testing on September 26, 2014. Investigators find Christina Morris's DNA in Enrique's trunk, both on the trunk mat and rubber steel around the edges of the trunk door. Enrique claims he has no explanation for the DNA, and on December 13, 2014, Plano police arrested Enrique in connection with Christina's disappearance. Before his arrest, the Morris family attempted to organize protests outside of Enrique's home in the hope of obtaining more answers about Christina's disappearance. Unfortunately, Enrique chose to never speak to Christina's family, even when they pleaded desperately for answers regarding Christina's whereabouts. And it isn't until September 21st, 2016, thanks to the DNA discovered in his trunk, that Enrique is found guilty of aggravated kidnapping. But without being able to locate Christina's body and with no further evidence, Enrique isn't charged with homicide. Mr. Roach, if you'd please stand for me, sir. Mm -hmm. Verdict form reads as follows. 
We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of aggravated kidnapping as charged in the indictment. On March 7, 2018, a man on a construction site in Anna, Texas, uncovered a human skull and notified local authorities of the grim discovery. According to Collin County Sheriff's Office, the human remains were found while excavators and construction workers were clearing the area of brush. And based on the condition of the remains, police could not immediately determine gender, age, or any other characteristics of the victim. The remains were taken to the Collin County Medical Examiner for proper identification. They positively identified the remains as belonging to Christina Morris. So almost four years after her kidnapping, Christina is finally laid to rest by family and loved ones. Enrique was sentenced to life in prison and won't be eligible for parole until he served at least 30 years of his life sentence. To this day, Enrique has never confessed to killing Christina Morris, nor did he ever reveal to authorities where the body of the 23-year-old was located.